and the goddess drew a table up beside him, heaped with ambrosia, mixed with deep red nectar. Hermes, the guide and giant killer, ate and drank. Once he had dined and fortified himself with food, he launched right in, replying to her questions. <clears throat> As one god to another, you ask me why I've come. I'll tell you the whole story, mince no words. Your wish is my command. It was Zeus who made me come, no choice of mine. Who would willingly roam across a salty waste so vast, so endless? Think, no city of men in sight, and not a soul to offer the gods a sacrifice and burn the fattest victims. But there is no way, you know, for another god to thwart the will of storming Zeus and make it come to nothing. Zeus claims you keep beside you a most unlucky man, most harried of all who fought for Priam's Troy, nine years sacking the city in the tenth, and then set sail for home. But voyaging back, they outraged Queen Athena, who loosed the gales and pounding seas against them. There all the rest of his loyal shipmates died, but the wind drove him on, the current bore him here. Now Zeus commands you to send him off with all good speed. It is not his fate to die here, far from his own people. Destiny still ordains that he shall see his loved ones, reach his high-roofed house, his native land at last. But lustrous Calypso shuddered at those words, and burst into a flight of indignation. Hard-hearted you are, you gods, you unrivaled lords of jealousy, scandalized when goddesses sleep with mortals. Openly, when you, even when one of you has made the man her husband, so when Dawn with her rose-red fingers took Orion, you gods in your everlasting ease were horrified till chaste Artemis, throned in gold, attacked him out on Delos shot him to death with gentle shafts, and so when Demeter, the graceful one with lovely braids, gave way to her passion and made love with Ison, bedding down in a furrow, plowed three times, Zeus got wind of it soon enough, I'd say, and blasted the man to death with flashing bolts. So now at last, you gods, you train your spite on me for keeping a mortal man beside me. The man I saved, riding astride his keelboard, all alone when Zeus, with one hurl of a white-hot bolt, had crushed his racing warship down the dark, wine-dark sea. <clears throat> there all the rest of his loyal shipmates died, but the wind drove him on, the current bore him here, and I welcomed him warmly, cherished him, even vowed to make the man immortal, ageless, all his days, but since there is no way for another god to thwart the will of storming Zeus and make it come to nothing, let the man go if the Almighty insists, commands, and destroy himself on the barren salt sea. I'll send him off, but not with any escort. I'll have no ships in reach, no crew to ply the oars, and send him scudding over the sea's broad back. But I will gladly advise him. I'll hide nothing, so he can reach his native country all unharmed.